This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, all oh, this is going to be terrific. Chef Joe Intreri is here. He is from Scorpion Bar. And this morning, get ready, grab hold of something. He's making one of my favorites. He's whipping up, no, not some grilled scorpion, some wings. How you doing? Good morning. How are you? I am great. So nice to have you here. Let's talk about some of the ingredients you'll be working with. Wings, a classic. Who doesn't love these? Who doesn't love wings? So we have uh, three different recipes for one dish. We have to make our scorpion sauce, uh, so we have some jalapenos, All right. roasted garlic, honey, lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, and uh, kosher salt. Cool. Then we have to brine the wings before we cook them. So we have just some cold water, raw sugar, salt, dried thyme, oil, and minced onions. Now, I'm no expert in the kitchen here, but I'm guessing that th th these will be very hot, scorching. Uh, I wouldn't say scorching, but uh, they'll be a little spicy. All right, because I a little I, tangy, a little spicy. The honey's going to cut that, cut right into that. All right, because I'm very weak. I start to perspire even at the little littlest hint of spice. You think I'll be we'll okay? Leave, we'll leave one wing plain just for you. See, oh, I'm buttering him up as only I can. And let's talk about Scorpion Bar, the location opening up shortly at Gillette Stadium, correct? Or it's already open? Excuse it's me. It's been open for a little over a year now, and uh, we have a new one opening uh, in the Seaport in Boston. There you go. Uh, on the 26th of October. I knew I was close. <laughs> Good to have you here, sir. Pleasure. This is Chef John in Trary from, of course, Scorpion Bar. He's here all morning for the wings. You don't want to miss this. Back to you. We are. I love good wings. Joe's here from the Scorpion uh, Scorpion Bar, and we have some wings ready. To when you go to buy wings in the market, what do you what do you need to look for? Um, well, generally, you want to look for size. Right. Okay. You know, you want the little wings are going to dry off more. Right. Uh, the big ones are going to retain a little bit more moisture and give you a little bit more room to, to play with here. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do first is you want to rinse them when you get home because you don't know if there's any packaging chemicals or anything like that. So you want to give them a good rinse. Uh, and then what we have here is a brine. So the brine is going to add some flavor. Mm -hmm. And you generally want this to uh, sit for, you know, anywhere from an hour to overnight. And it's going to, uh, the salt is going to penetrate and it's going to give you more flavor and it's going to keep them juicy. And also it's going to allow them to get crispy. Uh, when, when you, you do, fry them. when you fry them up. Yep. Um, so we're going to put these right into the refrigerator. We're going to let, let them these sit, sit for a little, little while. while. A lot of times when you go to the market, you, you get them, and, and they're, sometimes they're frozen. And I don't know if that makes a difference, or should you buy ones that aren't? Uh, fresh is always better. Right. Um, but frozen isn't terrible. You okay. know, you, never, um, you don't want to necessarily run them under cold water. It's nice to keep them in the refrigerator uh, and let them defrost overnight naturally. You know what I mean? Keep them in a pan like this. Uh, and just let them defrost. Uh, mm -hmm. Let them take their time, and then it's all about adding flavor. You right. know what I mean? And we want to build and layers that's what of flavor. You have. You've got right a lot here, of flavor. we have uh, we have flavor that we're going to get from the brine. We have uh, a bunch of ingredients in here that we're going to make our uh, Mexican dust. So we have paprika, two different types of paprika: some dry thyme, dry mustard, garlic, salt, pepper, onion powder. Uh, cumin and fennel. A lot of flavors going on. So you want to build flavors. We're building one layer of flavors here, another layer here, right. and then we're going to finish it with our sauce when uh, when they come out of the oven. And some people like a dry a dry rub on it. Some people like them when they're a little like bathed in a different kind of sauce. So you can do this anyway. Absolutely. You right. can skip the sauce altogether, and you can just go with the rub. You can bake. You can fry. Right. It's uh, it's all about preference. Yeah. They have the air Good. fryers now, so. All works. Absolutely. Sounds good. All right, we'll put this together. Also talk about the uh, Scorpion Bar itself, and we will try those wings. I love wings. Back to you. We are wrapping things up in the Roadshow Kitchen. Scorpion Bar is the place. Wings are on the menu. Chef Joe mm. is here. He's going to complete it. They look great. I mean, you've got a, had a marinating for a while. You've got a lot of yeah. different ingredients on top of them. Yes, so we've brined our wings. Uh, now we're going to season them with mm -hmm. our Mexican dust. So. How long do you suggest they marinate for? Uh, you should brine them anywhere. You can brine them to an hour up to overnight because it's because okay. it's so small. It won't take that long. For larger yeah. for larger things, you want it to go a little bit longer, so you know you get more flavor to mm -hmm. penetrate. Right. You know what I mean. So then we want the uh, we want to put them on a rack so that way the air circulates around it. So that way you're getting even cooking mm -hmm. and they uh, crisp up nicely. Oh yeah. Nothing like that crispy I wing do. I like it. and hearing that crunch. Yep, the crunch, and then it's nice and juicy on the inside, mm -hmm. nice and tender. So that's what the brine is also going to do. It's going to tenderize, that therefore making it a little bit uh, easier to eat. Yeah. Easier to eat on the. Put these right in. So we want to do 350. Okay. For small small batch, we can do about a half an hour or so, mm -hmm. and then you want to crank the oven up to 450 to kind of crisp up the skin a little bit. Right. Okay. And this is perfect game time food too. Absolutely. So so we have some ready right here. They look wow. great. Wow. Okay. You can hear them still sizzling Absolutely. a bit. Absolutely. We're going to mix these. 
Now, is this what you suggest? Because some people put the sauce or whatever on and they try and cook them. If you want that crispy texture but still have that. The sauce, kind of if sticky. you put the sauce on before, a lot of sauces, a lot of wing sauces have sugar and the sugar is going to mm. start to burn. It'll okay. start to caramelize and it'll start to burn and then you're going to end up with a little bit of a bitter flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to go with the sauce afterwards. Okay. So this is our scorpion sauce, which is roasted garlic, lemon juice, honey. Extra virgin olive oil, Yum. salt, That's good. and roasted red chilies. What an interesting that flavor combination between the brine yeah. that you had them in before and then tossing them with the sauce there. Absolutely. Again, we're building flavors on top of flavors because mm -hmm. nowadays everybody is looking for bold, intense flavors, so that, you know, that's what we want to give them. People are learning more and more about food, too, and they're trying their own combinations at home. Is that scorpion sauce something that you put on other items? Uh, we use it bar? just for the wings. Yeah. That's good. Hey, talk about your locations. I know you got two. You're going to open a, a new location as well, right? Yes. We have the one that's been open for just about a year now mm -hmm. at uh, Gillette Stadium. Mm -hmm. uh, very successful. It's right outside of the stadium, so very mm -hmm. easy access for going in and out of the game. So Great. You know, a lot of players like to go there yeah. often. Uh, and yeah. we have a new one opening in the Seaport in Boston. Nice. On the 26th of October. That's Excellent. great. A lot of people have yeah. their commutes up in the Boston area, so they want to stop, stop there. Or they're heading Absolutely. to a game. And if anybody Patriot hasn't been, it's, you have obviously great food, different types of food as well. We have fajitas. We have fajita bowls for those people that are gluten-free or mm -hmm. don't like uh, the, as much bread. We right. have, you know, obviously our tacos, quesadillas, sure. things like that, and obviously signature dishes. We'll just finish this off right. right here. Wow. With some nice shade celery and our blue cheese. That Shade looks good. I like that it. looks that really idea. good. Wow, it smells incredible. Right. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah. You're looking at yeah, it too. I, well. I do want to try. Yeah, I, I want to. As we dive jump in. into these, Joe, what are some other popular um, apps and items over at the restaurant? We have a jalapeno ravioli, which is a Ooh. wonton wrapper filled with cream cheese, jalapeno, garlic, mm -hmm. uh, right. and a little bit of honey drizzle for that, and finished with the corn salsa. Taquitos are very popular. Yeah. Um, Carne asada rolls, buffalo flautas, but uh, it's delicious. Taco Tuesday is always the go-to day of the week. Mm-hmm. Three wow. for three-dollar tacos. Good, They're really good. Too that spicy? Sauce? No, no, not at all. Oh no, I like spice. Well, not at yeah. all. Let me try one. Too yeah, try. Here you try. go. Yeah, try, huh? See? See, quality control. See? Just making sure that you are getting the very best. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. All oh, right, good. three thumbs up from us. Scorpion Bar is the place you, we can you can get the ruining recipe over on our website roadshow.com. Enjoy. Mm.